Hi everyone! I'm on my way to a solo exhibition of Christy Chow. She's a local artist, super, super talented. Uh, she won many awards. Her work is all about gender issues and environmental issues. Um, and I have to say, before I met Christy, I couldn't really um, understand her installations, but then when I met her and she explained to me the concept and the idea, all these different techniques she's using, I just fell in love instantly. Um, so I hope you too, and I hope I will have a chance to talk with Christy today so she can explain a bit more her new artworks related to, a gender, to gender issues. Um, and I hope you will enjoy as much as, as I do. This, uh, these two pieces, this and this one, are in Germany during artist residencies. And that time I have been reading a book about um, at the 21st century, 21 lessons in the 21st century. Have you heard about this? Yes, yes, yes. one of my favorite art authors actually. Yes, so it was about the um, how it, uh, the, the, the era of artificial intelligence affect how we live as human beings. And one of the things that we are talking about is um, how we human being being incorporated um, into you know machine and human being uh, um, incorporating together. So um, say for example, nowadays we've got a cell phone in my hands. Everyone got a cell phone, and you can say this is just a machine, right? But you can't really put it down when you forgot yourself at home and then you go out and you feel like I'm I'm forgetting something, like part of my body is missing. So basically if this thing is not handheld, they can be inside your body and this is part of you. And then at the same time, when we create people create robots, and then we create robots, we try to create a robot with like a human body okay. So we give, try to give them gender, give them a name. It can be a male, a free, a female. But why do we give a robot or a machine a gender? It is not necessary. And sometimes they even create a robot with like a skin touch, like a real skin and something like that. What is the point of creating a machine that looks like a real being? So it makes me think about the boundary between um, artificial intelligence and real people. And I was thinking, if I create these pieces, like a machine, for example, and um, in Germany, then what what this robot will be wearing? Will she or he be wearing like a traditional outfit? And uh, what kind of human touch you want to put in it? So, if you want to make a machine more like a human being, can this machine be pregnant? So, what is the point of creating a machine that can be pregnant? like a real woman or what do we create functions like breathing do we uh, breathe like up and down like we chest movement just to feel that oh this is more like a human being now so this is the reason why you create these pieces and think about the uh the, the title of this exhibition is shibon is uh, come uh, came from the, the the word cyborg you know if you have uh, Watch goes in the shell. So Scarlett Johansson. Actually, that is actually a very old uh, animation, Japanese animation. And uh, at that time, uh, cyborg implies power. So if we human being machine incorporated, it almost became something that is so powerful that people want to do something like this. Yeah. So this is the the, the idea uh, behind these two pieces. Beautiful. <laughs> And how long it took you to, to finish the work? Um, the, the silhouette, I finished it um, in, uh, in Germany. Yeah. And I came back, I did a retouch, and also it's a part of the video where I took it um, in Germany, where there's a uh, ladies live next to the residences, and there's uh, German ladies. And actually, this house is a house full of pregnant ladies. It's a house that they open it for pregnant women to go for. Um, uh, pregnant prenatal yoga, so that's why I can talk to them, and then they <laughs> they, they, they are interested in the project, and they're willing for me to take a, a video of them. Amazing. Yeah, thank you. So this one is um, uh, uh, an embroidery piece called um, 
disaster fair. The series is called Disaster. And this particular piece is called Father. So um, when I think about women's bodies, we talk about, you know, when we describe C, we use a gender, her, to describe human nature, like a mother nature. For, for in our history, in our culture, um, the human nature is also almost like a, a woman. Unpredictable, see, you know, something like that. We describe a, a nature as a woman. And uh, this one, I used uh, the woman figure and also incorporating uh, the traditional Japanese um, kapuzai uh, style drawings and do the embroidery. And, um, you know, the liquid that came from the woman's body, it's so real. You know, we have this, so we have so many different liquids in our body. And, um, but when you talk about the perfect woman, it's always the perfect body, hairless, there's no like liquid or anything. But for real woman body, it's like this. It's almost like we're talking about a disaster. We all, we, we, we all know that you know, disaster happens everywhere. World earthquake, you know, typhoon, this. But no one wants to talk about this unless this is happening. So this is the idea when I create this, that is to uh, talk about, you know, the real woman body and something that people don't want to talk about. So beautiful and so eyes open, opening. <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys, I hope you enjoy the exhibition and uh, and I hope you will visit Christy show. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the content and you would like to hear more, please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any comments. Uh, I would like to hear from you. Thank you so much.